Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that We call that, ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling, my phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do, penthouse man What's going on, Rage Sports Lab Trade Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Motorsports 7 with our very first drift build And of course, man, we had to do the G35 Coupe If you guys are fans of Forza, well, uh, you'll have known that this car has not been in the game all the way back since Forza 4, man. So it's been quite a long time. I'm very excited to have this in the game for the simple fact, well, I own this car in real life. So it's really cool to kind of see this in the game and, uh, you know, be able to drive our real world counterpart. So I'm pretty hyped. Throw in a little bit of horsepower to it and uh, see where this goes for today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to keep seeing more Forza 7 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Ahead, throw some upgrades on this now the main thing i may just drive this stock as it is first and then kind of go from there we have a handful of front bumpers man this is awesome to see and hopefully they keep this going for a lot of the other cars that are in the game now to be completely honest um i'm feeling feeling that ings bumper right now let's go ahead and throw that on early sports luxury we do have some wings now the forza wing uh they do look very similar to what we've already had in the game um, I would have really liked to see them change that up, man. I mean, just a little bit. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're going to keep the stock wing on the G. And for our bumpers, um, I'm feeling, feeling like the Gretty, actually. Yeah, let's go with the Gretty. For the rims, I do believe there was a few newer ones over to the right here. Did have the inclusion of the BBS ones coming back, which looks fantastic. Um, I just don't want to overuse those. My only worry about those rims, I will say those 1552s, look pretty fire on there man 3500 let's go ahead and do that and if you guys uh are looking at this kind of menu right now we have lost our basket from forza horizon 3 i don't know if you guys do remember that but uh we had a basket now it just takes our cash right as we do it i'm not a big fan of that just because the fact well uh you know if you did want to add something in after the fact or you know maybe swap something else to a different part you've already spent the cash right so it's definitely uh it sucks right it definitely does I'm curious if the multiplayer has went up for the drift hoppers last time i checked uh there were no drift hoppers so i'm really hoping that that becomes fixed very soon if you guys do remember last year for the six it was the same thing man we didn't even have drift hoppers we didn't have drag hoppers for a good chunk of the game so well not a good chunk but it was definitely a little bit of time before we got them i do remember that so hopefully it does come back in very soon we're gonna go into free play and uh let's slide this thing around a little bit we had to go to suzuka man i figured it was fitting we got the g back we got suzuka back we even have our Forza Motorsport 4 driver gear on, man. I figured this is the perfect idea for today. Um, not feeling the color of the rims, but I do think that is the part of the paint job that we did download. So we're just going to have to sit with what we got for now. Um, I do believe that we, oh, we can just go ahead and test drive is exactly what I'm wanting. Open track to test the car set up while learning the best racing line around the circuit. That's what I'm looking for because I'm not looking to do much other than slide and go back and forth, man. Joyride, we got an achievement for that shit. Enter test drive in any car, man. I'm telling you. Okay, yep, wheel's not even on, get wrecked. Wheel's good now, we're good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop a gear, actually. Tommy just heard that BQ. Oh! It does actually sound not bad, oh my god, okay. Damn! I am liking this. A little bit of oversteer. I'm gonna test this out here. Just gonna drive this out. So this big girl feels again. Oh, I just looking to it scream. Okay, she wants to get sideways. I know. I'll clutch it, man. That's fine. Never mind. We ain't gonna do shit with that. Okay, well, third gear does rip. Obviously, we gotta be going quite fast. No burnout. Look, like the G has quite a bit of power, man. God damn. 280. Obviously, that's not to the wheels, though. Punch kick that third. Oh, yeah, we definitely need. 
some things done to this. It just keeps wanting to straighten up with this as well. Got to get a test drive though, man. You got to feel it out before you start throwing some heavy parts on here, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. We may even bring this around to 900 for a little bit of this. We're at 540 right now. But I'm kind of missing that 900, man. So let's maybe do one more run. Pop this into 900. And let's see what happens. Now, the main thing, though, I'm trying to get cars ready for online play, man. If you guys don't know, uh, the servers have not really been too stable lately. I've been hearing a lot of issues with people trying to get into servers that just do keep airing out. Especially uh, now the fact that we actually have to have somebody else on uh, to invite in order to start up a private lobby. So it is a little bit different this year. It's kind of confusing why they would make it so that way you had to have two people in the lobby at all times. I mean, I, it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, if you guys can maybe chip in on that, let me know down below. But uh, in the meantime, you can go ahead and comment that right now. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of my uh, large regular from Tim Hortons, man. You guys already know uh, I like coffee, man. If you guys are new to the channel, well, shit, I have uh, at least one or two of these a day. I mean, it's, it's probably not the best thing for you, but, you know, it's Tim Hortons, man. Come on. Okay. Damn, she does look actually pretty damn good in the light. Another look here. You know what I'm surprised about is that I can actually use the gas and look around. Before, you couldn't do that. It was actually, it would just go to either the controller or the steering wheel. So it's really nice that we have two different inputs now uh, that is accessible. That's actually really nice to see. Okay, let's go to a different view here. Let's go, oh damn, look at, hold on now. Look, appreciate the wheel. That's a big damn wheel, man. I, I hold that wheel every day, I know. And I will say, um, this whole little center console on the right hand side, yeah, well, mine no longer works. Uh, the whole thing is just shut down. See the little kind of air conditioning on the top there on that little kind of bar? Uh, that's all stuck. It will not turn down, won't turn up, won't go hot, won't go cold. Uh, so whatever's going on inside of there, it is a problem, man. And it is a common problem within the G's. Now, if you guys do have a G35 at home and you know about that problem, well, uh, let me know how to fix it because it's just, it's not working, man. I have no music, got no air now. I mean, it's a shit show, man. Try this again. 900 now. And oh my God, it feels fantastic. I remember... Uh, last time we were visiting 900 was the Fate of the Furious car pack, and to be completely honest with you, those cars had a lot of power. Don't lose it, thank you. Um, so I felt like the wheel was just kind of, you know, not the way that it would have been driving a regular vehicle on the track. I'm talking just something like this, 280 horse, uh, just looking to, you know, have some fun on 900. I just feel like it plays a little bit different than, say, a 2000 horsepower GTX, which is obvious, right? I mean, it's a, it's a damn given. This whole track, pretty much, this thing is fire. It's my G, man. This is sick. Not bad at all. If you guys don't know the rig and are brand new to the channel, well, uh, we have our Thrustmaster TX steering wheel up top combined with our TH8 shifter on the right-hand side here. T3PA Pro pedals underneath, uh, and then obviously we have our wheel stand pro holding everything together, man. And uh, this is quite the damn rig. And forgot to mention our custom handbrake up here. Oh shit, we almost died. You okay? On the grass, right? Okay. Honestly, thought we were not gonna make that. We got one more stretch here, and we're gonna yank this as hard as possible. And finding that the shifting is definitely different this year. I feel like. Um, in a sense that they have changed the shifting on a wheel to make sure that you are going slower into gear when you need to. Oh, yeah, we caught damn traction on the grass. I don't know if that was traction, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I yank it, drop the hammer. Yo. Okay. Get another sip of my coffee. Now leave it down below in the comment section. Next episode will be chosen by you guys, man. I need to know in the comments what card you want to see done next for a drift build. Hopefully next time we will be able to go online with some crew members, um, you know, with some friends, or also to go online into a drift hopper, which is the overall end goal for this series. So I'm hoping to just bang out as many cars as we can, get sideways in the process, and uh, see what we can do with these things, man. I feel like this is just a brand new year for Forza. 
and I'm pretty excited, man. I definitely am. So we are going to do a few upgrades here. We are now B class, and uh, we're just going to tinker just a little bit under the hood. I felt like we had quite a bit of power, um, and remember, I'm trying to keep these realistic this year, and that's kind of the biggest thing. I don't want to be just throwing everything into the car for a few reasons. One, uh, you know, money is actually a thing this year, which is something I've been wanting uh, in a Forza title for an extremely long time. I mean, you know, countless times we were just given everything from the start and it was definitely you know something that i feel that we took advantage of as forza players just having everything you know spoon fed to us so i think this is going to be a great year to really you know say hey i got this car right now and i think this year is going to be a great year where you know if you have a car that's expensive people will look at that and be like damn okay man this guy's got you know he's got some wheels out here so you know that's you know kind of my hopes and dreams of forza is you know cars actually having value to them and I think they have definitely done that this year. And I'm excited to start collecting, you know. It's a fresh start. It's a fresh kind of garage. And hoping to kind of keep them more organized, you know, write down my builds. Because I do not believe that we have, uh, you know, I don't believe that we can group cards anymore. So that's definitely, uh, you know, a thing that I would love to see back in the game. Maybe they will with a, you know, a recent update. Uh, but at the moment, we do not have grouping. And it's definitely um, something that is needed in a Forza game, you know, at least at least in my my eyes, I mean, considering the fact that we have now 700 vehicles, um, you know, we could have multiple tunes for each vehicle, uh, shit adds up, right, I mean, that's all I'm saying, I think we're pretty much good to go though right now, we're still on stock tires, I didn't want to change those, back out for the test drive, and uh, let's see what we can do, the end goal is just to get this thing to a comfortable point where I can say, okay, I've saved this car in my garage, and I'll be pulling this out at a later time, right? I mean, that's, why is it, my foot's not even on the damn gas, okay? Wasn't on the gas an entire start. I don't understand why that does that. Or diff, man, I forgot to do the diff. Now, this is good, though, the fact that we can still kind of test drive and tune before the race. You know, before, you would have your own separate test drive to do this stuff, and then you would have to back out, go to another track. So it's nice, the fact now, that everything is kind of more seamless, right? I mean, you're all kind of in this same spot, and I'm hoping that it's the same for online, which I highly doubt. But it would be nice, though, if we can uh, tune an upgrade online. I would not be getting offline, I'll tell you that right now. Oh shit. Try not to go full throttle with those things. Once it goes full throttle, that's when we start getting into trouble. It's nice and easy on the throttle, man. That's it. Look at that, though. We're just, just straightening right out. Let's see what we can do with this, uh, this tune. We didn't really actually do anything. We just kind of upgraded it, and then we just came right in here. So let's go ahead. Uh, alignments, we're going to definitely bring out this front camber just a little bit. Rear as well, too. So the fact that we're pretty stiff, we're going to go ahead loosen this up a little bit and just see what we can do with these bars, and uh, we'll go from there. We're going to slam this thing as well, too, maybe a little bit more on the front, 3.4 to 3.3, and we should be good to go. All right, let's see what we can do now. It's got to be really easy with it. Tires are nice and hot. Go. Not even going to use a handbrake on that. So clutch kick that in. Still wants to straighten out. You guys can see that kind of just the front end just diving in. So we just got to make sure that we're hard on the turning and the throttle, but it will still straighten out fairly easy. Gonna find that groove, man. Once you find the groove, she'll sit there, but it definitely it just wants to come back and feel it. All right. We're going to go out to about negative 3.5 on the front camber just to see how this feels on the wheel. I'm going to bring down the rear camber a little bit. Uh, toe, and then, oh, forgot to do caster. God damn it. Bring that back up to 7. Um, and springs now, we're going to bring it, we're going to make these springs a little bit stiffer. Now, if there's anything doing that uh, you guys are saying, Slop, you should not be doing that. You should be doing the opposite. Well, leave it in the comment section down below. I've never been a master tuner. However, I like tweaking with damn tunes, though. I, you know, I don't mind just doing a random tune and then, uh, you know, seeing what happens from that. So we're gonna see what happens here. We've done a few adjustments, and uh, let's see how she feels. Go ahead, rip a Yui back. Oh yeah. Clutch kick third again. Ooh. Come on, baby. It was very close to straightening out. 
feels very nice on 900 though. You throw the weight of the car, you feel the weight in the wheel. Oh no man, right at the very end. At the very end, we screw that shit up, okay. I definitely need to upgrade the brakes for the main reason of locking the rear end up. Uh, I'm noticing that I'm doing that, especially kind of breaking into the next kind of corner. So that's that's the biggest thing that I want to change. And then after that, uh, I think we may be good, man. This thing is pretty much uh, solid. We're going to run this one more time. Sloppy first corner. Alright, let's see what we can do with this one more time here. Oh, yeah, okay. The biggest thing, though, is that I'm just trying to find that happy medium on the wheel, man. I'm still struggling to get the proper force feedback layout here, and that's kind of my biggest my biggest kind of problem is I'm just kind of going back and forth between the steering linearity. Uh, maybe I should have just kept that stock. Uh, force feedback understeer, let's bring that down a little bit. Minimum, let's bring that down. Wheel damper, let's bring that down. Okay, let's bring, bring that shit all down, man. And... We're gonna go back, finish the test drive, throw on the brakes, and then go from there. I'm gonna leave this as it is, just so you guys can see. You know, once you're actually in the track, everything happens so fast and so smooth. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm really enjoying this layout this year. Um, it just makes for everything a seamless experience. So you're not having to come back in and forth, you know, leave, come back, tune, leave, come back, test and tune, upgrade, tune, right? I mean, it's a process, man. And definitely, I think they have done the right thing this year. And uh, they've really made this a great experience to be able to come in, tune, leave, tune, upgrade, come back, and we're right back into the action, man. This is awesome. We didn't do test drive, though, so we're actually driving here. Son of a bitch. We're going to be doing some skid racing, man. That's fine. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. They may be on easy difficulty still. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to toss this bitch in, though. And hopefully... Well, not exactly. That wasn't, ex wasn't exactly the way that I wanted that to go. However, we're going to just run this out a little bit. And I forgot to tune the damn brakes. I upgraded the brakes, but forgot to tune them. Son of a bitch. It's okay. Still a little bit sideways. Okay, that was a pretty damn good run this time around. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just hold her, hold her. Yep, okay. So, again, like I said, we forgot to uh, do this properly. So, we're going to go ahead and quit the race. Uh, we're going to go to test drive and then tune those brakes up a little bit. But, like I said, though, thankfully we have this ability to just go through test drive tune and do all that right at our fingertips right so it's gonna be our last test drive for the day final thoughts though with the g uh i'm just happy it's in the damn game again man i mean we've been waiting a well i've been waiting a long time for this car i'm not gonna put you guys in the same boat but um i definitely miss the g35 in forza we have it back and uh, i couldn't be happier man this is awesome to see and i'm definitely excited for this year and uh this may be one of my go-to cars um, after it's all said and done, right? I mean, you never know. Bunch cake, yeah, we still need to work on it, but shit, man. All right, here we go. Gotta make this one count. Trying to be easy on the throttle, which is usually my biggest issue with Forza is just I'm too heavy on the throttle and the brake. But obviously, when it comes down to it, you need to be full throttle sometimes. But sometimes, so you just need that, like, 90... The 95% throttle will get you through, and goddamn, this G is coming through for me, man. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you for coming around for today's episode. Did I, did I hit any of those? I didn't even touch one. Oh, I think I got that one. There's a lot of pylons. We're going to be going pylon hunting very, very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, reverse entry for the win. JK, that was shit. We're definitely happy with the wheel settings, though, here on 4 7 today. I feel like we've got a really good happy medium with that. And I'd love to know your thoughts down below and, uh, you know, what wheel settings you guys are using, if any, as well. Too, son of a bitch. It's just, yep, okay. Just wait for that to come back. Appreciate it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below. Uh, before we go, though, we got to get at a high speed, though. We got to get at a high speed. Hold on. It's a premature outro, man. I'm sorry. Premature. 
Hashtag that shit. Premature. Everybody will be wondering what the hell is going on down in the comments. Only you will know, man. Only the true supporters of the end of the episode will know. Hashtag premature that shit. Okay. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching for today. If you want to sign up, Chad, I'm out. Please make this. Oh, Jesus. We're going to go right off the damn track. Okay, yeah, well. That's what I was trying to do is go close to the dirt. You went to the dirt. Whatever, man. Come on, Sam, I'm out.